this is it. The final battle. It's us versus this little kid. Hey everybody, this is Leobox. We're using time for the last episode of Majora's Mask, I believe. In the last episode, we finished up the rest of the dungeon, the rest of the uh, mini dungeon of the moon. And in this episode, we're going to talk to the Majora's kid here. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you, will you play with me? Uh, sure. I guess we're not going to, I guess we're going to play and not have a final battle. Okay, that works. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. And here we get the final mask, the Fierce Duties mask. Could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Are you ready? You're the bad guy. When you're bad, you just run. You just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? So, we're apparently the bad guys. Okay, now, something about the Fierce Duty mask. Um, it can only be used during boss fights. Uh, and on top of that, it is incredibly overpowered. Um, so, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do though, I want to, I want to show off the mask, but at the same time, I don't, I don't want to make this battle end in like 20 seconds. So, yeah. I'll show, I'll show the, uh, show the mask in the first half, because the first half of the joke. The first part of Majora I really don't like. Um, right here we you see the Fierce Duty Mask. We don't have a shield, but we all, we, instead we have a cool sword. Uh, which we block. But anyway, um, if we start, if we go too far into the into this battle, if we go too far in here, uh, we see the Remains Masks fly out and just kind of pop into uh, little pedestals. I guess little pedestals, little spots here. And it activates. I guess it activates Majora's Mask. Here we have Majora's Mask. Bet you didn't think we'd be actually fighting the, so the mask here. Okay, now. This, there's a few different ways you can handle Majora before I actually start attacking it. Majora's Mask. Um, when it comes down like there, you can do a spin attack uh, like that with your uh, regular sword. You can get behind it and shoot arrows because hitting it from the front is, doesn't work. Or if you have, the, or if you have the Fierce Duty Mask, uh, you see that we get to fire little wave beams, which, like two or three of those, actually, that's actually half the battle with the mask right there. And then you see these pop up and they start attacking about halfway through. The best thing to do is just go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, cause the rain masks are gonna just really become more of a hindrance to you than anything else. Um, and they stick with you for the, they stick for the remainder of the battle, so it's good to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, but anyway, before the battle's over, I do actually want to at least show some tactics here. Um, so let me see if I can get out, uh, it's, I think it's recommended to use your regular arrows. If you want to go the... Oh, there you go. There's another way right there. Um, yeah, this, this, this part takes a while right there if you just like that. Um, whoops, didn't I do that? Uh, let me reorganize my things real quick. Um... Go. What you want to do is for those guys, if you want to, if you want to fight them legitimately, you just want to use uh, uh, light arrows. There we go. Um, or you could deflect Majora's beam onto them. Um, now, you see, now you see me, see me doing here, doing here when uh, Majora fires the, the beam is uh, I'm untarting it. Um, it's a lot easier, to, it's actually the only way you can actually damage it that way. Um, yeah, that, the beam's only during the second phase of the fight. And then right here, 
Right here's where you actually start trying to hit it with your sword. Um, as you can tell, I can't hit it. Well, done one. Yeah, so you see the front, the front doesn't work, and it's... There we go, you beat the front, you beat the second half of, Major, of Majora's Mask without, uh, without using the Fierce Duty Mask. <laughs> right here we get into the second phase of the battle. <laughs> or third phase, technically speaking. Second form. Majora's Incarnation. Now, there's a lot of, uh, now speaking of the incarnation here, this is really kind of crazy. Throw some weird dance moves. He's moonwalking! He's moonwalking, I don't know that. Um, it also does the can-can. <laughs> um, it bounces around. The best thing to do here, I think, And I think hit it with, with your sword. I'm trying to remember. At least he's only some fierce, fierce beauty. <laughs> I don't have enough magic for the air. For a... Yeah, by the way, you might get a little squeamish in this, in this fight just because of uh, the bouncing around and everything. Um, this is definitely one of the weirder boss fights. There we go. Once you hit him now, you just kind of well out with your sword. Um. Anyway, there's a lot of fan speculation that Majora is actually a female bad guy because of, uh. Of, uh. Certain things, like, you notice know, sort of how the mask is with the body. The eyes kind of form what look like breasts. Um. And on top of that, um, there is a part of the female, there is a part of the female ana anatomy called the Majora of Libya, I believe. Um, and, uh, supposedly, and I, I'm, not a, I'm not a biologist, so I don't know, supposedly, uh, to either this form or, uh, the next, so, spoilers, there's a, there's a third form that, uh, shows kind of markings on, on Majora's body that kind of resembles, uh, the Majora Libya. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, right here we have Majora's Wrath. Probably the second hardest, because I still consider the mask to be the hardest, at least the most difficult, of the, of the forms. Primarily because of the whips. Um, this also might add has, like, the coolest boss here. Um, I may end up having to go into the PSD zone for this. But, uh,. There we go. Get up close, get up close then. I only got two hits on it. Uh, if you're far away enough, you shouldn't have to worry about not about uh taking damage from the whip. If you get too close, right there you notice. Uh, a lot of arrows also do really good against her. Um Also another reason a lot of people think uh, Majora is a uh, female character is because of uh the noise, the noise is very feminine. It's very feminine or crazy demon. I can never really, I can never really tell. People say it sounds familiar. So you got the the high pitched squeal, the high pitched squeal. So you could probably assume it's both. Like, there you go. Uh, so yeah, the base of the best drive system is kind of keep shooting arrows and just keep kind of attacking whenever you can. So yeah. That's a final battle. Uh, definitely an interesting battle with the Incarnation and Wrath. I don't think I've ever seen... Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen a game, be it Zelda or any other game, that actually implies that this... It actually implies a lot more than... I think Nintendo meant. I mean, you start thinking of this Majora's Mask, well... Oh, the whole, the whole deal of, of, of everyone wears a mask, wears a metaphorical mask to hide, hide her true selves. 
Um, but in, on top of that, you got the you got Majora's Incarnation and in Wrath, so it kind of kind of implies that the the, the uh, spiritual aspects of this well, quote unquote, demon that Majora is that maybe there's a little more deeper to it. I mean, you aren't wrathful just by being just because you're on a whim. I mean, hell, not even the Joker's that, that kind of wrath. The Joker's just crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't get you don't get wrathful because of a, on a whim, but yeah. Anyway. Ah, he's awake. There you see the skull kid. <laughs> kind of weird, kind of got a weird, uh, weird little beat thing I never noticed going on with his face. Weirdest giants ever, but they're so totally cool. <laughs> you guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend? There's the fairies to comfort him. I honestly don't get how people could actually hate this game. I, I honestly don't see it. After seeing stuff like this... Oh. This is some, this is some good writing. For, especially for the time this game came out. Some good storytelling right here, man. Did you? Did you save me? Thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> could you could you be my friend too? The opponent's the star of opponent. <laughs> yeah, the same thing as the fairy kid. He taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil one has left the mask after all. Well, now I finally have it back. That is really creepy how he does how he jump cuts there. Since I'm in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there's a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever, or merely for a short time, that is up to you. Again, the jump cut. But that, please excuse me. I wonder why they did why they why they did that jump cut with them because it's the only two times they've ever done that in the Zelda game with anyone. So maybe it was graph squares. Maybe it was supposed to imply some. I don't know. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. And boy, do we have a lot of masks that are happy. Well, both of us gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? I guess so. You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Someone pointed out that was like the one, this is one of the, the, the one part they didn't like about the ending was that Link didn't get, didn't go to the carnival. Link! <laughs> Thank you. Aww. The bro, the... Heartwarming moment there. <laughs> In all 
was the Viral Link, I probably would have stayed for a little bit uh, and enjoyed the carnival. You know, he spends, what, the same three days over and over, pretty much getting, trying to save everyone so they can have a carnival. <laughs> but yeah, aside from that, that's probably, one, that's probably one of the only things I don't like about uh, the ending. But, it's not, it's, it's really more of a nitpick than anything else. Yeah, like I said, I, I honestly have no clue how people don't like this game. It's just... <laughs> there's Link! <laughs> so Link did go to the carnival after all. He just disguised himself, himself as Macau. There's a stone tower. Oh no, no, that's not stone tower. That's the, uh... That's the place where we got the map, the Lens of Truth. That's that, yeah, that floating cave that we had to jump to. <laughs> there, d those brutal pirates. <laughs> oh, that's silly. I don't know. I, I always thought that. Um, there's the pirate base. Actually, I think you can see Link in the in this somewhere. He's where am I thinking of? I think I'm think I'm I guess I'm thinking of something else. There's the uh, the the Ikana Castle, King and uh, King Ikana and his men, <laughs> kind of acting goofy. Deku Palace. Boy, that was a long time ago. That was oh, what 50 episodes ago? Oh my God! Do you how long it took me? Oh man, I didn't even update every every day like I normally do. Um, man, this took me more than. When did I start this? At the beginning? Did I? No, I didn't start this at the beginning of the year. Oh, this like in February. Yeah, that'd be about. That sounds about right. February, March. Yeah, the dancing girls. I never remember names. And here we have the the whole puzzle of the whole rainbow of the great fairies. <laughs> I mean, is that because they wanted to prove they could change the hair colors? <laughs> There's Romani and Crimea. <laughs> they able to. Wow, that's, impre that's some impressive bow skills. <laughs> I like the, uh, mi the mix of the Zelda theme here. There's the bomb people, there's a... Uh, what's the name they gave us? The Bunny Hood. You got, you got to see his chicks all grown up. Again, I can't, I can't, I honestly don't see how people could sit there and hate this game. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the time, yeah, the time mechanic is a bit, is a bit kind of, eh, but it's okay. It's, you, you got, you don't need to see this stuff, but you know, it's, it's hand, you can handle it. You can slow down the time enough. You know, I think the worst part about the time travel gimmick is the, uh, is the Andrew and Cafe quest. And that's really the only bad thing, that's really the only bad thing you can think of about that. Cause, just because you're sitting there waiting for so long. And of course, you won't get every single item in the game. You gotta do that twice because you gotta get the uh, bottle from Madame, Madame Roma and then the, po the uh, hat from the postman's hat. <laughs> and there's Andrew. When I first played this game. I had I had trouble figuring out who that was, mainly because I couldn't, I didn't recognize uh, Andrew Andrew's hair done up that way and wearing that outfit. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was about five years ago. I beat this game for the very first time. 
And I first got this game, I, I couldn't beat it. I just, I got stuck on the Great the Great Bay Temple. Yeah, anyway, this part always chokes me up a little bit. Got the Deku Butler finding his son. Kind of sad. Then here's Link heading off. Just only got to see him sitting somewhere in, in one of the previous scenes. He's sitting atop some. Was that in the. Is that an Ocarina of Time I'm thinking of? Or. No. No. No, because I don't think he's appeared in the Ocarina of Time credits to the very end, too. I don't know. But, you know, I've had fun with this game. I hope, everyone, I hope you guys had fun too. But until next time. <coughs> so anyway, that was, that was Legend of the Legend of the Legend of the Dare sorry a song. We were, I was waiting for that. <laughs> so yeah. So, I'm not sure what game I'm going to let's play next, um, but yeah, like, I got a few ideas, but you know what, I think I've had fun with this game, all in all, but yeah, so, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next LP.